Weathering and erosion are similar processes that occur every day. They shape the world around us. Weathering is simply the gradual destruction of rock under surface conditions. This can happen through physical processes like wind, water, and ice breaking down the rock, or it can occur through chemical activity like the falling of acid rain. This statue of King Edward VII in Great Britain has been chemically weathered through the acid rain that has fallen on his face, which is kind of creepy now. All because of weathering! Erosion, on the other hand, is the general name for the processes that break down rock, which we just learned is called weathering, and the processes that carry away the broken down products. This is called transportation. Some agents of erosion include gravity, ice, and water. As glaciers move, they take broken down rock with them. The same goes for rivers. They carry broken down rocks to a brand new home. Eventually, these two processes, weathering and erosion, transform a landscape into something new. The places we see around us didn't always look like they do now. Take this simple example of a beach. As the waves crash into the sand, a very soft version of rock, chunks of the beach are broken off, weathering, and carried away as the ocean water recedes again, erosion. We can see this in a much bigger scale in the famous White Cliffs of Dover, located on the coastline of England. Now, of course the beach in the previous video is made up of very soft material and therefore weathers and erodes very quickly. However, most of the famous landforms we see today that are created by weathering and erosion, including the Cliffs of Dover, took a long time to form that way. There are a lot of these landforms in Utah, especially in the southern part of the state. There is no doubt that many of these landforms are spectacular and visually stunning. This has brought countless filmmakers to Utah in search of the perfect, unique backdrop for many famous movies and characters. For example, when Universal Pictures and Marvel set out to make the 2003 movie Hulk, they chose Arches National Park as a backdrop for a scene in which the Hulk makes some of his famous leaps, one of which can take the massive superhero several miles. Cool. When Walt Disney Pictures decided to make the 2013 movie The Lone Ranger, they travel to various parts of Utah, including Moab. There are scenes in the movie when you can play the game, spot the cool landform in Utah formed by weathering and erosion. I hear Johnny Depp loves to play. Anyway, the point is this. Weathering and erosion are natural processes that are happening around us all of the time, and they shape the Earth's surface in important ways.